All right, guys, Elijah here with Baseball Express, and today we have a different kind of review. Um, but before we get into the review, a quick update. Um, so I'm sure if you've noticed, you know, for a while we we're putting out like a video a week of all these bat reviews. Well, we kind of covered a good chunk of our vendors' uh, new releases for the 2023 season. Um, and kind of just to change up our content structure, um, we actually started doing live at bats. We started doing a lot of different kind of stuff. As you've seen, um, we're going to be doing a 95 mile an hour journey to see if I can actually get it up to 95. Just so a lot of different baseball content, we didn't want to get wrapped up in just reviews and, and kind of go into that world. You know, we want it to be all encompassing. So with that being said, um, today we are going to be talking about the All-Star Pro League. Now, before I go any further into the review, um, I just want it to be known um, that this is my opinion, and this is what I think. I think in, in us, you know, me working for Baseball Express and all the business we do with a lot of different vendors, me saying that what I'm going to say about this glove is in, no, is in no way, shape, or form a knock against a Rawlings or a Wilson. I'm going to say that now. I think they make great gloves. In fact, when I pitch, I use Rawlings, and when I play the infield, um, I tend to use a Rawlings, but I'm also like starting to shift over to Wilson because Wilson is making some really great stuff. But nonetheless, I'm a lover of all gloves. I'm a lover of all bats, of all brands. Two I am. Um, now, let's get into the review at hand. So today we're going to be talking about the All Star Pro Elite. Now, this is probably um, so. I actually, you know, fun, funny, fun, quick story. Um, I actually had one of these, and by the way, it comes in two colorways: a black and tan, and an all black. My, you know, back in the day, I had the tan and black, but I was like, this time we're going with the all black because it just looks so sweet. Um, but yeah, so I've I've been kind of been asked a couple times because I've been coaching some kids and and you know I've been kind of picking up my my Sunday league stuff and I've been having a lot of guys come up and ask me you know what's the best catcher's mitt that we can buy, um, and I always said them with this it depends, what kind of player are you, what are you looking for in a mitt, what's the longevity you're looking for, and there's millions of other questions that go into purchasing a mitt of this price range and of this caliber now. My opinion, I'm just going to give it to you straight up because I can't contain it anymore. This has to be probably one of the best catcher's mitts you can buy, if not the best. And I'm going to tell you why. I have used Rollins Pro Preferred Catcher's Mitts. Um, I actually had one back when I was in high school, and I had the hardest time breaking it in. And I don't know if it was that model. Um, and to be honest, I don't even, obviously, you know, we're talking, you know, probably about 10 years ago, so they probably don't make that model anymore. But it was just so hard to break in, and I could never figure out why. Um, Wilson is good. Um, I'm a huge advocate for Wilson's, Wilson's fielding gloves. I had one Wilson catcher's mitt that I borrowed from a friend years ago when it was still fresh. I think he had bought it, um, like, and I took over two weeks because I started catching for our high school team, and it just got so floppy so quick. And I don't know if I just have terrible uh, luck with catcher's mitts. I don't know. Um, but then my first my freshman year of college, my my pops bought me a All Star Pro League. Now. When I used it back then, it was awesome. It was phenomenal. I had no problems breaking it in, and the padding was phenomenal. And now we're here 10 years later, or nine years later, and I thought, you know, we're doing a lot of catching for a lot of indie ball guys, pro guys. Um, let's get let's let's test out this this mitt and see if it's a real deal because a good chunk. I don't want to throw out some you know percentage and and lie out my teeth because I don't know. But if you look at any big league guys, they are a good chunk are using the All Star Pro League including Jose Trevino and a bunch of other guys. So, shout out Jose, you know what's up. But, um, yeah guys, so so looking at this mitt, you know, and looking at the structure of it, I have a GoPro going. Um, but before we get into the structure of it, if you wanna, I know catcher's mitts are crazy with how they sound, and that's like a big advocate or a big reason why people buy mitts. So I actually got the, the opportunity to catch Ralph Garza Jr., who actually played at OU. He's a New Braunfels native here in Texas. Um, and he actually played with the Astros, he played with the Twins, and he played with the Rays. He's currently a free agent looking for a spot. So I decided to, you know, stroll over to New Braunfels and, and catch his bullpen. And the dude's filthy. Um, and if my catching is a little off, it's because I'm a little bit rusty. But you can actually hear and see how it sounds right here. Good, bro. <clears throat> All right, so after you've seen that, 
it sounds awesome. I hate the pew, but that's just the feel. It's a thick, it sounds full, it sounds awesome, it feels great. Now, into the structure of it. So, this is a Japanese US steer hide glove, so it's not like the stiffest, hardest leather you're gonna find on a mitt. Um, it's durable, it's, it's, the structure is strong, um, and with that easy breaking, people get kind of confused. They're like, oh, broken easy, it must be a cheaper leather, it must be, you know, it'll get floppy. Absolutely not. I've been catching with this bad boy for about the last month, every week for about three to four bull pins and throwing sessions a week. And let me show you something. It it hits and it's still as stiff and as hard as it was when I pulled it off the rack at the retail store here in San Antonio. Now, does that mean that it's hard and I can't catch it? No, it, it actually makes a really good break in. I mean, it broke in. I mean, I, do, I am catching dudes that are throwing like 93 plus, so that may have aided in it. But at the same time, it really broke in pretty fast. I mean, I was ready to use it, like fully use it in game situations within a week. Um, and I played catch with it about three to four times. So it, it, it's a fairly easy break in. I mean, look, and you're, you know, I'm, I'm, it's easy. It feels great. Um, it's got the closed back single pocket there. Um, it even, which is surprising, I don't see a lot of catchers mitts that actually do this. If you look at any Rawlings, maybe a special edition or something, a custom. But it actually has a finger pad, which is nuts. It's insane. Um, it's even got the wrist strap. You don't see a lot of gloves at all these days have, have the Velcro strap, but it gives you that custom fit if you need to. I personally haven't messed with it. It fit my hand right off the rack. It was perfect. I have no issues with it. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, I, it's hard for me to, to compare mitts to this just because of the overall feel, the look, the design, the structure of it, um, the longevity of it. Guys, I've been catching dudes throwing a good chunk of, they've been throwing some heat and I've been doing this every day for the last month or not every day about, you know, like I said, three to four days a week and then catching on Sundays and my games and this thing is, it feels as if I just pulled it off the rack and caught two bullpens with it. Um, it's insane. So if you ask my opinion, this has to be, you know, if you're going to put it up against, you know, a Rawlings Pro Preferred, this this would this would be comparable to a Rawlings Pro Preferred just because of the leather type and the feel of it. It doesn't have that soft, easy break in that a heart of the high does or an A2000. So if you're going to compare it, if you're looking for a comparison to this mid, if you're like, well, I'm not a huge all-star guy, I'm a, I'm a Rawlings person or I'm a Wilson person. If, if you had to compare it to those two brands, what would you go with? I would put it with an A2K on the Wilson side and a Rawlings uh, Pro Preferred on that side. Um, though, if you were to put all three mitts together, which we might actually do, um, they're all going to be vastly different and they're all going to have different characteristics. That's just how it goes. Now, one thing that I do like, and I'm, and I'm looking at it more or less from a structural standpoint, I'm going into more of a playing standpoint and a performance feel. It's very light. It's easy to navigate. You're not going to get too much. It's not, you know, some mitts, especially when you get to the older, more elite players, you know, framing balls that are low in the zone, some gloves are heavy. Like I know, um, I love the way the Gary Sanchez Heart of the Hide feels. I love the way it looks. In fact, it looks eerily close to this with the, you know, it's black, all black with the, the gold lacing, um, which is crazy. It, it looks really sick. But the thing with that is that glove is heavy. It, it weighs a little bit more than this, but you can really feel it when you're really starting to put it on your hand. And, w and when I say that, and if you don't know what I mean when I say the weight's too heavy or the glove's too heavy, is especially on pitches when you have to come in here like this, or you have to come up, or like this, or like this. You don't want your arm to drop. You don't want this. You don't want this. Number one, you do have to have strong wrists, but this thing is easy to navigate all throughout the zone, and it's fast, and it's quick, and it's it's light. I mean, I'm doing this. It's, it's light. That's bottom line. It's really light, ultra light, um, which is another reason why I really like it. But yeah, guys, so next question that I got, um, and here's kind of the kicker. Should I buy this glove? Now, that is an extremely loaded question that I get too many times, um, but I'll be brutally honest with you. So, if I have a 12-year-old who's like, hey, what catcher's mitt should I get? Should I buy them a $450 elite mitt that pro days are using in the MLB? Absolutely not. There's no need to spend that kind of money on that. You know, it just doesn't make sense. No one's going to break your son's hand at 12 years old. Go buy him. If you really want to get him the highest, highest end for that age group, you know, a 10 to 12 year old, you can get him an A2000. I mean, that's that's probably comparable. It's probably good for his age. You could even go a little bit lower, maybe go with a, a Gamer or, a, or an R9 or a Wilson A1000 or something along those lines. You know what I'm saying? And I think actually All Star makes um, a couple like lower priced catcher's mitts, which are also great. And they look very close to this. The only difference is gonna be the internals and the structure of the mitt and the quality of the leather. 
Um, that's all that's really going to change. So there are options for that. Now, you go a little bit older. It's like, okay, people that are going to be buying myths like this year, you can buy for your high school kids. Of course, it's great. There's going to be kids that are throwing and they're playing at, a, at, a, at an elite level. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't go below that for this myth. There's just no need for it. There's just no need for it. I mean, if you are an elite player playing high school and you're looking to play at the next level and even potentially the level beyond that, this is the myth for you because this not only gives you the protection and the structure of a pro mitt, and it's gonna give you a quality experience behind the plate and help your performance. Not only is it gonna do that, but um, it's gonna last you a good chunk of time. I mean, you got dudes, I know some catchers that are playing in the minors and dudes that are playing the pros that get two of these a year and they last all season from April to, if they're lucky enough to play through November, from April to November, and they last the whole season getting beaten day after day, pitch after pitch. So yeah, guys, it's a hard beat. It's a hard beat. All Star really knows what they're doing when it comes to the catcher's mitts, as they do with the catcher's gear. Um, yeah, guys, that sums it up. And like I said, this is my opinion, but I think that this, at the moment, until someone maybe comes out with something a little bit better, is the best elite catcher's mitts you can buy on the market. And I don't, I don't know if I said it before. I've been kind of rambling on about this thing because I love it. It's crazy. If I could case it, I would because it's that beautiful. Um, it comes in two different colorways. It comes in a black and tan and an all black like we see here. Um, but yeah, and what's crazy is that if you're a Baseball Express person, you've been shopping with us, we actually used to have exclusive models uh, with different color lacings. We had blue, red, white, it looks sick. Um, hopefully we can bring those back. But as of right now, we have the all black model and the black and tan model at Baseball Express online for $449.95, and we have it in our retail store um, in San Antonio, Texas. So if you're looking for a new catcher's mitt, you are getting ready to get your season going. If you're not in the Texas area, you're not in the South States where they've already been playing for about a month and you're getting ready, you can pick this bad boy up at Baseball Express and I can promise you, you won't be disappointed and it's gonna last you a good chunk of time. The 450 is a very steep price tag and, and before, we, before we conclude it, I wanted to hit that. Um, I know it's a scary price tag. I'm not naive to knowing that spending 400 bucks on the glove is steep, especially in these economic times. I get it, I understand. Um, and here's, here's what I have to say about that. I'm like, okay, and it goes back to the same thing. You're going to get what you pay for. You're going to go with $300 hard to hide or $300, um, you know, uh, what is it, 82000 sorry, just spaced. Um, you know, they're not going to have quite the longevity that this is going to have. Or if, you, like I said, we compare it to an A2K or an A2000, the leather just doesn't have that same stiffness, that same structure to it, the same build. Um, which, yeah, and, and not to take away from the gloves, if you take care of a mitt, if you, you case it, you don't just chunk it in your bag and smash it, any gloves can last you a good chunk of time. But these will have an extended longevity, an extended lifetime, they're gonna last you a good chunk of time. So, just keep that in mind. It is a steep price tag, but I promise if you take care of your mitt, if you oil it, you make sure it's not getting smashed under your catcher's gear, it's gonna last a good long time. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we really appreciate it. We wanted to just kind of touch base on this glove. It's just, you know, people are getting ready to, to buy for their uh, their seasons, and we want to make sure everyone's got the proper education and know what they're buying for it's best for their kind of player. So thanks for watching, guys. We've got a lot more content coming up. Um, we actually have a couple cool podcast guests coming that we're super pumped. We had to tell, we had to the only one that I was really, really pumped about, but the way it'll make it even sweeter. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. We've got a lot of cool bat reviews coming up. I know we're doing one with Dovetail. It's going to be coming out next week, so super pumped about that. Um, yeah, guys, hope we're all watching the World Baseball Classic, getting pumped for baseball season, but we will be sure to catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.